This is uh, Ben Knight reporting for ex Berliner's Berlin Ali blog from the Berlin Ali. I am uh, standing next to, it's so embarrassing, standing next to a picture of Diane Kruger selling hairspray. Uh, we are here, we're going to be uh, filming a few uh, people buying tickets and asking them why do they do that? Why do they queue up like that? Like monkeys in a big queuing up brothel. So, uh, so what do you think of this? You're at the end of the queue and you're probably going to have to wait here for about half an hour. What, what's, what makes the Berlin Alley so special that you... Well, the thing is that here? I've been here Wednesday morning, Thursday morning, Friday morning and today. Waiting for, yeah, waiting every day for the queue to buy the tickets. We are allowed, we want to see like six movies, and you can buy it only three days in advance. So you have to come there every day, otherwise you run out of tickets. Is it worth Everything. it? We will see. And I, I see that you're nearly at the end of the queue. Yes, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I already was in the other one that was just for internet. And... Oh. No wonder that one's much shorter. I don't know, you, you can't go there. So no. anyway, so Francisca, you've been in the, you, you're, you're at the back of the queue here. Yeah. You're going to have to stand around for ages till you get a, a ticket. It feels like. Uh, what, is it worth it? Why is it worth it? Because I think um, on the Berlinale there are some special movies. I don't like the normal movies from America which are going on here in the cinemas because it's just like comedy and these are movies yeah, which go like deeper, it's about, yeah. yeah. I like the atmosphere, I like being able to see films that you normally don't get to see, and like I just picked up a ticket at the last minute and I saw The Devil's Double with Dominic Cooper, and it's about Saddam Hussein's son, he plays this double role and it was fantastic. And then at the end of the screening, there he is, live on stage, and just like, wow, that's really, you know, you don't get to see that, experience that every day. Yeah. Now, what, what are you hoping to see now? That's the problem, is making the choices. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an art and it's a science in itself. Well, I've got a list. <laughs> I hope to see, like, I don't know the name in English, but Odem. It's a movie um, about Israel, about two women who are going to the cinema and they are not allowed to, and the things yeah, which are happening then. Ah, so, so Also, yeah. maybe about women who can't go to the cinema. Yeah. So, yeah. So they would like, they would, you know, they wouldn't mind the queue, yeah. would they? Yeah. We're getting tickets for this uh, Brazilian movie, uh, Tropa de Liche. Oh, that. And, yeah. It's really violent. Uh, I've it? seen the first part, and it is, but... Isn't it getting, it's about policemen torturing each other. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're into that, yeah? Like, well, I think it's the reality that Brazilian people leave, so... Yeah. I don't have to be into that to No, 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 I'm not suggesting it. that you're into torture, that would be awful. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is Peter Timmerman, Peter Timmerman. He's uh, also a, a film expert, culture expert, and a, 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 what do you call it, a long-term Berlin Ali goer. So what do you think of this one? Uh, I'm, I'm stunned, in a way, because uh, in 20 years, I've, I haven't been to a Berlinale where uh, so many films have dealt with similar topics and, and uh, issues. A lot of these sort of special movies, as you say, they have like a lot of um, quiet bits, don't they? They yeah. have like long pauses, like someone says something yeah. and then no one says anything for like, like two minutes. And then it's like, then, then you just see a hamster or a cat walking down the road and then yeah. you think, oh yeah. That's really interesting. Is yeah. that how you think of it? Yeah, exactly, that's yeah. it. Another thing that I really loved is that, that Tropa de Lita, which is, is yeah. power thriller, high, you know, it's up-tempo, gripping cinema with fantastic pictures, but it's uh, putting its finger in it. Yeah, uh, like, a, like an open wound. Yeah. Like poking a yeah. finger in an open yeah. wound. So you're, you're connoisseurs of, uh, of, of the Korean, the East Asian, Cinema scene, yeah. So, who's your favorite director? No, East Asians like Volkan Vai. Oh, oh, yeah, I know him. Uh, yeah. Park Park Chan, Park Chan Wood, um, Corey Eda. Okay, she can Sorry. Also. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, that's sorry about that. Lost out to the granny here. 
yeah. I mean, if you look at uh, one of the the competition films, The Prize, it it, it's a lot of uh, it's it's a it's a very sort of grey and and it's a shattering look at life in in. 1976 Argentina really? where yeah it's, it's it's sort of you come out there thinking what a fantastic film to have in the yeah. competition but at the same time you know when's Pink Panther 3 coming out nothing much happens uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, what I'm going to see uh, surely I'm going to see uh, maybe tomorrow Mi Miriam Makeba's Life Sorry? of Miriam Makeba oh, yeah, a okay. charismaki a charismaki film mm -hmm. oh wow yeah. Yeah. Is that, is, are you a big Kawasaki fan? Um, well, rather a Miriam Makeba fan than a Kawasaki. <laughs> no, he's, yeah, he's better, she's better. Is there a woman? She's, she's a great African singer, you oh, don't yeah. know her. No, sorry. Oh, she's grand. I'm oh, sorry. But she, she's not long and living, but she's, she was very okay. big, great. It's interesting stuff. It's, it's very political, sometimes in terms of actually uh, talking about political issues and sometimes in terms of you know love relationships but a relationship that can't happen because of the political background in that society where it's supposed to happen mm. and whether that's Iran or whether that's uh, South America it doesn't really matter Hi. People behind me are queuing up to get into a film that they've never seen before. It's probably going to be rubbish. Look at them. Look at them. Like all like, like monkeys. Monkeys. It's disgusting. Huh. It's called Yelling to the Sky. Yelling to the Sky. Uh, a film by Victoria Mahoney. Never heard of her. Often, the the two ways of interpreting the film in the end. It's either you know, you know, do you is there hope? Are we moving on? Is this going to get better, uh, or is it going to get worse? Well, these yeah. two Brazilian guys, you know, choice. were asked that same question, and one of them said, "I have bad news for you. It's all getting worse." They were just shouting. They were just shouting at each other just then, all about like, oh, can you keep the stairs straight? And then people were booing and hissing. It was like a, a really uh, quite a, a, a violent atmosphere. I thought for a moment. I thought it was going to turn ugly, but luckily, because they're all they're such film geeks, they're too physically weak to actually cause any damage. And the other guy said, I disagree. I think. We're on our way up. It's getting better, slowly but surely. Yeah. So, it's obviously, like, it's probably like Egypt remains to be seen. Oh, right. Like a big metaphor. Yeah. For, you know, society. Yeah. Where are we going? Where are we going? Um, do we go, are we going up or down? With mm. our society sort of thing, yeah.